At least the boys are okay. I didn't uh, tape any of this earlier because, uh, well, out of respect for both the police here and my neighbor. Uh, cops just shot and killed the pit bull two doors down here. Uh, the one next to next door there. Uh, the pit bull had broken loose of its chain. I hate dogs. I, I hate when people chain dogs. And dug underneath the fence, I guess, and uh, attacked uh, my neighbor's dog, Tigger. Mm, Tigger's probably uh, going to be okay. He's at the vet now, surgery. Yeah, I really don't blame the pit bull that much. I blame the owners. Just like when there's problems with kids, I blame the parents. Wasn't properly controlled, wasn't properly trained. So the cops just shot the dog twice, actually. Um, I go back a little bit before Doyle called the cops and uh, the pit bull had Tigger in his jaws. He hit him with a a board, I guess it was a two by four, I don't know what. Uh, again and again, the dog wouldn't let go. Makes me feel worried because, you know, I have a pit bull here. Um, but Luna is about the gentlest thing ever. These guys here kick her butt. Matter of fact, there her is. Luna Lay! Luna Lay! Of course, hers mostly in the house. She's never not on a leash. Well, my son Jeremy lets uh, his dog Tara run like that. It gets me scared because uh, yeah, the dogs need to be controlled. You know, unless I guess you're out on a farm or something. I don't know, I just wanted to get some of these thoughts down. Um, it's sad when you have to shoot a dog. Um, you know, these people, their electric's already turned off. It's probably going to be another abandoned house soon. A big family living there, lots of kids. Probably about a dozen. Yeah, not that many. I think about eight or nine. <sighs> My plan for this morning, I'm on this grass. You know, it's just not right. There's my neighbor's house. This is the people that used to own the dog. There's no, no fence. And actually, they're they're not bad folks, really. But uh, I don't know. <laughs>